everyone and welcome back to the vlog um, so I said I would update the vlog every time I heard something about my application to my first ever job as a junior doctor next year and something yeah something big did happen today I have a different background because I'm currently at home I am on a very much needed two week break and during this two week break we've been told our death hours um so med school and i'm sure a couple of other universities do this but you end up finding out where you sit in the year group and that's because your death cell then determines where and what you can apply to as a doctor or as a medical student to become a doctor and um, so theoretically they're quite important though I have been told numerous times they're not really um, but we got these today and I didn't think mine would be high I knew that but I didn't know we were also going to get where we sat in the year group I I don't see why we need to know that um, so I got decile 9 and all the night decile um, it basically means that I'm in the bottom 20% of the year group and all right yeah bottom 20% of the year group and it's horrible and we got told whereabouts we sit in the year group and that was the bit I didn't want to see I I knew my academics aren't strong and particularly with staff around our second year exam I I just didn't want to know that and now I've been told it 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 was originally a massive blow and I did feel useless and kind of like well what was all this for but in a way I don't particularly mind it, it, it's not gonna get me like it's the most amazing place and that I don't mind either because we're not sure how the deaneries are going to use the deciles, if they're going to use the deciles and I don't think they should because we're still having the impact of Covid on these deciles so some medical schools cancelled exams, some medical schools delayed them, my medical school decided to run our second year exams, we weren't given the option of OSCEs and we had to do it online and the proctoring really wasn't that amazing so I don't know if I fully trust the second year exam and that's what 60% of my APM has gone on and I've had no OSCE input into that 60% at all and that's my strength like I I can't recall random facts which is what the exams is I like piecing everything together but you know what it is what it is and it's disappointing but when I look back on all the extra things I've done at med school and what I've got out of it and people messaging me uh, around med school acceptance being like oh I messaged you, you gave me some really good advice and I got in that's what makes it for me is that I've helped other people get in to where I am and where I'm really grateful to be I've also done some amazing things I'm involved in a hospital that I never even thought I would step footing let alone be involved in writing things for them that are going to be published hopefully uh, which is Great Ormond Street which is amazing um, I've seen paediatric neurosurgery at Great Ormond Street which is just mind-blowing uh, I've obviously done a lot of wide and partial baseball events I got to keep in touch with my science communication side which is great I've kept up this blog which is something that I'm going to be really proud of when we get to the end be like yes I've blogged and recorded every single week in med school I'm I'm proud of everything I've done and none of that is reflected in the decile and none of the extra stuff is there I could have decile one but if I turn up at an AFP interview and I can't answer anything but yes I sat at my desk for three years and studied non-stop it's not going to make me look any better <laughs> so yeah I don't have a good score and my feelings about my score will fluctuate 
I will have days where I feel rubbish and I'll be like, well, yeah, I deserve ninth decile. And days where I feel really good being like, oh, no, that's absolutely rubbish, that decile, and I'm better than that. But that's fine. I'm allowed to be human. I have human emotion, despite what most people think. Um, I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing. These deciles are like A-level grades and they only matter to get into a foundation school or to get the AFP or special foundation program as they're now known. After that, no one gives a damn. And I've had this exact same thing in my A-levels. I got BCE, still got into uni. And then as soon as I stepped foot at uni on my first day, no one gave a damn about my A-levels. So all I've got to do is just show people that actually you know what, yeah, I'm ninth decile, but you're getting so much more than you anticipate for. Um, I'm going to try. I'm still going to try for the schools that I wanted to apply for. I'm also now, um, I've looked at a couple other areas for AFP, but I've just got to go for it. I've got nothing to lose. I'm going to end up hopefully somewhere being a doctor and that's the end goal it wasn't to be amazing and to be the top of the year and to I don't know revolutionize medicine it was to be a doctor and that's hopefully what I'm still on track for so I think in the end although the academic side isn't that good if I can be a decent doctor and I can be safe and I can still do all the things that I love outside of medicine, outside my course, then I think I've done pretty well. So I guess only time will tell and my next update will probably be my GMC number because that's on the way. And then I apply for my Wow, I think of my applications for my first jobs in just under 20 days time. Wow. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bye. So we're a couple of days now after the deciles came out and some good news is potentially that London, Kent, Surrey and Sussex, uh, those things aren't going to be using EPMs for their uh, long listing of candidates. So that means that potentially my decile hasn't completely screwed me over. I still have mixed feelings about my decile. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it reflects the amount of work I've put in over my degree, um, but there's not really much I can do about it I suppose, um, just got to show people that I'm better than that, I, yeah.